Hello everyone and welcome to this video. As you can see by the title and well by looking at this video, we are going to be doing something using a Lego Mindstorm NXT. And what we are going to be making is a, a Wi-Fi controlled vehicle you can operate anywhere within your Wi-Fi from your computer. So pretty much I'm going to make that you can uh, on the computer you should be able to like control the thing using a uh, simple controls and then it should send it uh, to, directly to the Mindstorm NXT. And you might think this is impossible, but it's actually not because I'm going to use my phone to do it. Um, I'm pretty much going to put my phone on top of the NXT computer. And then uh, I'm going to uh, use the phone's Bluetooth to communicate with the NXT. And therefore control it from the phone. But I can also control the phone with my computer. So pretty much I can control the phone with my Wi-Fi and I can control my um, NXT Mindstorm with my phone. Meaning I can uh, communicate to the NXT no matter where it is within my Wi-Fi. So pretty much just let's get started. So yes, I'll just start out by building the car and I know I have to speak very clearly because my phone is not recording the audio that well. So if you uh, want any chance to hear, you should probably turn up your volume a little bit. I promise I won't like make it super loud <laughs> or I will at least attempt not to. But uh, yeah, let's get started. I'll probably like time lapse this or something because it's going to take way too long if I just have to show all the recording and stuff. Um, yeah, I also just test if I actually managed to press the record button. I did. Thanks a lot. So now let's get started. Okay guys, so now I've built something that I think can drive, even though I can't get the test to work, I think it's just the test program not really working. I assume when I like try to connect into the Bluetooth, it's actually going to work. So uh, what we need to do now is just simply make something to hold the phone, and well, then we can put the phone on top of this thing. And uh, yeah, I've maybe built it a bit... Um, Badly when we want something to be on top of it because well it isn't that stable but it's just because we want to have access to the batteries because they always run out very quickly. So I will just try to see if I can come up with something to get the phone on top of it. And then we'll, I'll probably be right back at that time. So yeah. Yeah. And here it is. <laughs> yeah, and I'm sorry I'm recording with my webcam now. It's just that well I can't really record with my phone when it's right here, I have to use the phone as the eye of the robot pretty much. But what I pretty much just did was just, I connected some, uh, I connected pretty much like a stick up here to the um, motor, that are these uh, small holes right here. So I connected this stuff right here and pretty much I strapped on some Lego because then I could build around the phone and pretty much it's pretty stable but uh, the only bad thing is that, well I have to take off the phone to uh, use it really. <laughs> Because I can't technically use it like this, but that's just kind of a pain. So uh, yeah, I will just quickly go to the. Yeah, I know what I can, I can do. This I can do this. I'll go to the Play Store and wait for it to load, obviously, and then I should install some stuff. I should probably like have done this before. You know what, guys? I'm gonna take it off because this is too annoying. I'm just quickly gonna take the two bricks on top off, and then I can. There we go. And now I have my phone back. So let's just quickly do all this stuff in the mirror. That's gonna be very easy, right? Okay, how much power? Okay, 24% power, that's great. Um, so I'm gonna install TeamViewer first of all, because we need TeamViewer to control the phone on the computer. TeamViewer. There we go, I know I'm just quickly gonna add a monitor capture right here. If the monitor capture wants to work, that is. Um, so I'm just quickly going to, yeah, and I'm sorry, it's so bad quality with my uh, webcam. Really can't do much about that right at the moment. Okay, this is my monitor now. Now you can see my computer screen, my phone screen, and my face. So that's just great. Yeah, and you can see my face on my screen too, obviously. So I have to um, install my uh, TeamViewer Quick Support, I believe it's called. Um, 
yeah, it's this one. Team View Quick Support. Uh, yeah. And my webcam obviously can't focus on the phone screen because it's a shitty webcam. So I'm just installing it. So um, yeah, maybe I will like time lapse this. Maybe I'll just, I don't know, do this. I'm going to open up TeamView on my computer. Here we have TeamView on my face now. And then I can look at my phone and okay, the screen just shut off because I have turned power thing on. Okay. And I'm going to download uh, the remote thing, the add-on for Samsung. So that I can remote control the phone. So that's installing too now. So that I can like, you know, control the phone from my computer. And now I'm going to open up uh, TeamView on my phone. Yeah, just, you can see it, what I'm doing. There we go. And then we can see my ID right here. And uh, yeah, you can track it into my ID all you want. I mean, it changes every time I reboot my phone. So. Really, it doesn't matter that I show it. So I'm just quickly gonna enter the ID right here. Of oh, yeah, 500. Uh, connect. I'm gonna allow on my phone. And then we can go under. Yeah, remote control, there we go. Take a look at this. Now I'm uh, controlling my phone from my computer. And I can turn on and off the flashlight, obviously if it just doesn't lag too much. <laughs> but yeah, it works pretty fine. Um, there's always a bit delay on the entire thing. Yeah, now my phone is lighting up, beautiful. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I can also always also control my... There we go. Um, <laughs> so uh, now I can, from my computer, go to the Play Store once again. And I'm just really gonna make this full screen so that you can see it a bit better. Uh, there we go, yeah. And then I'm gonna search for um, for a webcam, I believe it's called. I don't really know, know what it's called, I'm not sure. Um, I'm just gonna call it webcam. It's, yeah, it's IP webcam, that's what it's called. Um, I really hope I'm recording this correctly. If I'm not, that's just gonna be so annoying. And also, by the way, there we go. Now you can see me a little bit better, I'm a bit more in frame uh, and stuff. But I'm going to install the IP webcam, and it is a bit delayed. I can see it's like delayed by a second or so, but it, it isn't going to be too bad because we're just going to use it to like control the robot. <laughs> yeah, and I really hope the thing down there has, still has battery, and or it's actually over there. But I really hope the robot still has battery because, well, I don't know if I have, if I have, I have any more batteries left because it just eats batteries like I don't know, like a cow or something. <laughs> That's a great analogy, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Let's open up this thing when it's done installing. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly, you know, I'm not gonna use Firefox because Firefox is faster, I believe. And it's nice to get some fast speeds because we need this. Okay, it's successfully installed. Let's open the thing. And well, video preferences. Uh, okay, we need we need a very low resolution. Just that. Okay, be because we we want it to be as fast as possible. So I'm gonna make it a stupidly low resolution. And landscape that's fine. And quality we can say like all the way down pretty much. There we go. Uh, well. And I think this seems about fine. So let's exit out of this one. Let's go. Okay, it's 8080, so that should be fine. And click the start server button. So there we go. Okay, so let's go to our Firefox browser now. I just. Shut this down, okay. And we can like split this in like two tabs pretty much. There we go. So if I put this one over here and this one over here, then we have both in uh, our computer. So I'm gonna go to 192.8168.1. Uh, uh, yeah, now it's about to go onto this. Uh, onto my phone's webcam. I just, my mom just came home, so I just like had to cancel it, my recording, but it's back now, so I believe I'm still recording correctly. 
uh, dot 29 colon 8080 and um, well allow allow remember and uh, then we're gonna go to uh, I believe yeah flash Um, that doesn't seem to work. Okay, browser works. So now we can. Uh, uh, JavaScript works kind of. We, we use, we're using browser, that's better. Uh, now remember it's finally. Browser, there we go, this works now. Now we can see the. Um, because the what the phone pretty much is seeing. So uh, now we need to install one more thing on the phone. So I'm just quickly gonna go back. And uh, you should still be able to. Yeah, you can still see the webcam as you can see, even though it's minimized there application so I'm gonna go to the Play Store once again to download uh, our last app being a controlling app for the the Mindstorm thing so let's go to the Play Store and let's search for NXT and this one this usually works so let's install that um, and accept and I'm sorry for the background noise it's my mother doing something I don't really know what it is <laughs> yeah so installing okay it's installed now so what we're gonna do on the phone is we're just quickly gonna turn it around so that uh, you know what I'm just quickly gonna do it like yeah there we go now we have then we can also get a bit bigger camera um, over here there we go so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go down here to our NXT remote control and as you can see right now we can actually we are gonna say yes to this we can actually control yeah not, no devices now I should connect it to the device so I'm just quickly gonna get this guy right here I hope you can see it you probably can I click the startup button it's gonna boot up and stuff and it has no battery because the oh my god did it just shut down again if it did okay it didn't great scan I'm just gonna scan the devices nearby okay I found one and it works just fine so now I just have to get this one on the thing correctly so that's why I should have made like a better <laughs> thing to connect with here um, there we go I believe this should be fine um, is this fine? Yes, it is. And guys, you know what? It seems like... Yeah, well, first of all, now I can record myself from here. <laughs> um, I'll take off... Oh, um, okay, I just saw the crash. It didn't. I'll take off my headset now, so I don't think you can hear me anymore. And then I'll be right back in like a moment. And guys, I'm back. So now let's just quickly um, open up our two windows right here. And let's try. And take a look at that. The robot obviously works. Even though it's pretty delayed. I mean, I don't know if you can see it in the webcam, you probably can. I'll just quickly see if I can like show <laughs> the robot in the webcam. Oh shit, did my, I don't know if my computer just turned off. Okay, it was just my monitor that just <laughs> lost the connection. Luckily, if my computer just turned off right there, I would be kind of mad. But um, I guess I can't really show it that way. But as you can see right here, on the, this window right here, if we go in here and start controlling the robot, right now it's turning, it's going backwards. I'm just quickly going to try turning. The turning doesn't really seem to work, but that's because I built it, uh, didn't build it very well. 
So uh, turning doesn't really work that well. It turns very slowly, but it works. And that's impressive enough. And I can always change the power right here. And now it's, it can go back and forwards. Um, if I had made the, um, if I had built the road better, it would also be able to turn. And this works anywhere in my house. Uh, if I put this into another room, it would obviously still work as long it, as it's uh, within the my internet connection. And it can turn a little bit, as you can see. And this works anywhere uh, within my internet, obviously. So yeah, um, that's pretty awesome, as you can probably see. And this is obviously very easy to make, so uh, if you have LEGO Mindstorm for some reason, you can make this too. So uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and <laughs> see you in the next video. And uh, by the way, if you want more stuff like this, comment below, because it takes a while to make. So uh, if you don't want it, well, there's no reason for me to make it. But um, bye guys, and see you in the next video. Here we go! Yeah.